The pinnacle of Nazi propaganda depicting Hitler the messianic leader was the 1935 film Triumph des Villains, or Triumph of the Will. Filmed as a documentary of the 1934 Reich Party Congress at Nuremberg. So sei dein unsere Löblich an diesem Abend in jeder Stunde, an jedem Tag nur zu denken an Deutschland, an Volk und an Reich, an unsere deutsche Nation. Und der deutsche Volk sieht keine! Sieht keine! Sieht keine! It really represents the kind of edited quintessence of the party, its image of itself, its projection to the world of what it was. It is truly disturbing because it's a kind of militarized ballet in which it elevates certain human virtues like discipline and others it entirely uh, not merely neglects but throws into the rubbish bag. Uh, you know, you have to have a pointy blonde Aryan face and be athletic and disciplined and obey. Disciplined forces stand to attention in rows, cheering masses with arms raised as they hail in unison, children with blonde curls greeted by their Fuhrer. The film also showcases the neoclassical architecture of the rally grounds, designed in part by Albert Speer. The architecture that Speer built for it is in itself a kind of filmic architecture, so it's that kind of austere neoclassicism that we associate with Nazi and fascist official architecture today, but it's also something that's specifically designed to look good for camera. It's almost like a kind of grand Hollywood stage set, enhanced at the time by special lighting shows. Triumph of the Will, like the Wagnerian operas Hitler was known to love, used staging, lighting and music to amplify the emotional power of the story. Seeking to create and perpetuate an enduring mythology of the Third Reich. The Nazis were always conscious of propaganda not just affecting people in the moment, but also about how it would affect the way future generations would remember and recall their achievements. Because they're not just adopting a neoclassical style for all official buildings of state, but they're also anticipating what these buildings would look like in the future, including in the very distant future. So what are they going to look like in a thousand or two thousand years' time? Will these buildings still be awe-inspiring? once they're in a ruined state as the Acropolis is today. The rally itself was an expression of Nazi symbols, power, unity, cohesion, an artifact of party propaganda. Titled Reich Party Rally of Unity and Strength, the 1934 rally was the first since Hitler had successfully combined the position of chancellor and president, taking comprehensive control of Germany and only months after the Night of the Long Knives had resulted in a bloody upheaval of SA leadership. The rally and the film were also a work of propaganda turned inwards, aimed at the party itself, calling on all to come together. Deutsche Volk is glücklich in the Bewusstsein, dass die ewige Flucht der Erscheinungen nunmehr endgültig abgelöst wurde von einem ruhenden Pol, der sich als Träger seines besten Blutes fühlen und dieses Wissen zur Führung der Nation erhoben hat und entschlossen ist, diese Führung zu behalten, wahrzunehmen und nicht mehr abzuhören. It's the moment that Hitler becomes a god. He is now no longer an immortal, and this is what Triumph of the Will is really doing. It's about the supremacy, the superheroism of Hitler, but also his superhumanity. He's no longer human. <laughs> 